I met Ammon and, and Ryan shortly after I was elected last uh, two years ago, and uh, through Assemblywoman Fiore, and uh, they're just the most honest, down-home type folks that, as I've ever met. And we we discussed their issues with with what was going on with the, with uh, with their the cattle issue, the grazing, uh, and the land issues with them. And uh, and I agreed to work with them uh, to try and uh, get legislation within our own state to try and help them so that uh, we can get that resolved as well. And uh, uh, we failed. We couldn't even get our own legislature to uh, to help them. And we had a solid bill. We had a solid bill. Sounds familiar. And uh, but going with them, and I was just sick. When I heard that what had happened to him and that uh, he was, uh, I cried when I saw that video because I was, I was, at the fringe. I can't, I couldn't imagine what, how I would feel if something happened to that man. You know, I mean, just because we don't talk all the time, we don't, we don't pick up the phone and call. But the, the times and the meetings that I've had with him, he is just the most honest, down home guy that you want to know, and he just wants to do what's right, and he just wants to be left alone in my opinion, you know, and he, he understands the Constitution, he's taught me, and a, 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 a lot of things. In fact, let me just show you, I carry this with me everywhere. This is the constant, he gave this to me. Yeah. Uh, Ammon gave this to me. When we were working on the, the legislative, the bill for our state, uh, we were meeting him and, uh, with him and Ryan, and uh, uh, he gave me this, con the, this pocket Constitution as we were reading it and he was pointing out different things of, of the, the angles of, of possible angles that we could go with our legislative bill and uh, 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 this is just a sad situation all the way around. Well it, it's gotten so misinterpreted away from its original intent you have to read the original yeah. again just to under, you know to see how far it's right. It's ridiculous. It's sad we've gotten to that point. Sure. I say that. You know and I understand and I got I have you know as everyone knows I have constituents that are on both sides of this issue. And uh, so, and I understand the folks that, that are on the opposite side of this issue. I understand their, their concerns and uh, what their issues are, why they think that, oh, this is a bunch of nuts and wackos and all that. That's their opinion. That's the way they feel. And I get it. I understand it because sometimes folks are not educated in what's really going on. You know, they just see things from the outside. Sure, You know, sure. As, as I did. Well, you know? it's just, it, that's how this state is divided, though, yeah. too. I mean... Uh, you know, if you get uh, east of here, then they're going to have a different opinion. Right. And so, and here it's just, it's kind of, it's bigoted here, basically, against the people that just want to be left alone and stuff. And people don't understand that because it's a liberal city and people are, I want mine given to me. And, um, you know, it's, right. it's really sad. I was, I, you know, until I met Ammon and, and, and Ryan, uh, I was ignorant of this. I didn't know what was going on. You know, I was born, uh, raised in the city. I had no idea what all this grazing stuff was all about and, yeah, and all this. And then once I got educated, and sure, I didn't, I didn't just take one person's view or opinion. I went out and educated myself and started reading and, and trying to get everyone's perspective. And then I came to the conclusion that, hey, these guys, are, they're onto something. Well, right. I, I grew up in the town that they were en route to, mm -hmm. yeah. John Day. Yeah. And, yeah. We went through there, and uh, uh, when we turned around after... Uh, uh, Mr. Bundy was uh, arrested mm -hmm. at the airport. We immediately turned around and went through there, and we called the sheriff's department there to get an escort through his county because we were traveling through there, and we didn't. Uh, to be honest with you, we were in fear. Well, uh, you called the right person because um, Mr. Palmer is a very good sheriff. That's what I've been told, and yeah. so that's why I. That's why we called him. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. He, uh, I, I know him fairly well, and done in the videos up in yeah he's a solid guy yeah i knew i wouldn't get any support from the sheriff and the county of the refuge so no 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 in fact i understand he has a bodyguard now that's what was told to me i do not know this for fact but uh yesterday at the refuge someone said that he now has a bodyguard and i'm thinking to myself you're a sheriff uh, do they elect sheriffs in this state is that how it works or are they uh, appointed yeah. or? okay yeah. so yeah the people of his county elected him he's the sheriff the highest law in that county and he's in fear he needs a bodyguard. Well, you know, um, in Grant County, where John Day, where, where right. Glenn Palmer's the sheriff, um, his under sheriff is actually going to run against him. But um, you know, it's kind of a, almost a little cabal there because sure. Glenn has been basically he hasn't ran on a post, but he's been I don't know how many years he's been sheriff a lot, I, and it just it's kind of strange now. People are turning on him. And it's, yeah, I'm constantly defending him because I know him, and you know, right. I mean, I'm 52. I've spent 24 years in the military. 
I well, thank you. Thank you, sure. I uh, stayed out for six, got out for 16 years when Iraq came down. When 9/11 happened, I jumped back in and went to Iraq. And um, uh, I spent all my time in the military in uh, First Ranger Battalion as well as the Third Ranger Battalion. And, uh, I went through the Q Corps, all these other corps, special ops uh, uh, community. And it boggles my mind that a that a sheriff would feel that he needs a bodyguard. I'm thinking, dude, are you that afraid? You need you need to get out of that type of work because you're obviously a well. Uh, it makes you, you wonder about that it takes one to know one thing. Yeah. If you've done something that um, is untoward against another individual, and then maybe you have to be concerned about it yourself. Sure. And you know, nobody's nobody is safe, I guess. No, it just illustrates and proves that point. So, uh, what, what's the saying? Um, he without he is who is without sin casts the first right. stone. I think yeah. that's probably part of why. Absolutely. So, well, hey.